yes guys what is going on welcome back to my channel it is all in yorkshire i'm out today in leeds with the man all right to be the man you've got to beat the man to beat the man you've got to go through this man <laughs> west audit report yeah, guess okay. where we are guys kirk's the labby sorry that were a bit quick turned it round a bit quick then so we've got children's playgrounds, abbey house, tennis courts, um, ruins, visitors in the Kirk's Lab itself and the boy. Um, being here before, years ago, got really to walk round though. It's where monks and stuff used to knock about back in the um, 1500s. Yeah, it's been here a long time. Been, uh, oh yeah. Just it were monks, and um, apparently these monks used to have loads of gold because they did breweries, that sort of stuff. Um, they used to have tunnels. Apparently, they went under the river where they used to have like catacombs and they used to hide the gold. People searched for it, but never found it. But that's just local chit chat, I guess. Local urban myths. But um, as well. Well known for apparitions in the grounds around the abbey. And, uh, yeah, so like uh, ghosts and ghouls and stuff like that. I'm not going to do um, a big stretch on this because all I'm doing is just having a quick look round, that's it. No fancy videos are out. Do you have to pay to go in here then? There you go, good times. Edwardian. Yeah, there's probably a lot more bone structures in there. I mean, if you're looking at like the green pipes there, where they look up at the top. So, so rather, I mean, this bit's not even on here. Do you have to pay to go in here then? I'm not sure. I wouldn't think so, but we can go in and inquire and let people know. And then look at the old small windows. Yeah, we couldn't get a bit of information from people, can't we? Yeah, that used to be the original door in to this. Obviously, they use a modern area now. So, in here, they've got shots, you know, there's something you can see through there. Um, and the right thing comes downstairs to a cellar area, it's, it's mocked up as a street. And um, they've got like shops and stuff in there as it used to be. So, it would be. Uh, Interesting to me. That all we just cleared out. There's nothing in there. No, there's nothing there now, is there? No. But the street, the street lockdown is downstairs. We've got tables, our dining areas in there. Hiya. Do you work here? Do you work here? Yeah. All right. Can yeah, we have a quick chat? Up. Yeah. Is that all right? Yeah, yeah. So basically, what we're doing is um. A bit of a blog. We're doing a vlog round Abbey, okay? We're just doing a vlog round Abbey, uh, but we just wondered the museum side of things whether you had to pay. Yes, so it's uh, six fifty, uh, yeah. yeah, from my memory, um, for an adult. Uh, but yeah, with the Abbey, if you're a Leeds resident, you get in for free there. What about Abbey? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, right. apply to me then. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I'm, I, I live in Leeds anyway. I don't live far. Well, there you go. Yeah, if you've got a Leeds postcode, then you get in there for free. But the Abbey is 6.50. Yeah, yeah. yeah. In here? In uh, Sorry, the Abbey House Museum. Yes, this yes. one right. is 6.50, yeah. Um, so I remember this from school trips. Is it still oh, yeah. got like a cobble street downstairs? Yeah, yeah, oh, wow. Victorian and shops street. and stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow. It's great inside, yeah. It's that might be sweet. worth paying in to go have a look, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course yeah, it was. Yeah. Yeah. Do they allow... Um, paranormal bit you know investigators to go in and, and yeah we have um there's a guy that works with us uh, called jason who does paranormal 
uh, evenings here and he does them at the Thackeray Museum as well and at Armin Mills. Um, but yeah, we have events, I think normally they're at the weekend on Saturday and people come in and uh, yeah, we kind of oh, investigate we the building. Oh, we're good, we could get in touch with that guy and yeah. see what's going on. Do you, um, do you have to pay to do what? Yes, I'm not sure about the prices of that. Right. Uh, I don't know how it's organised because I think it's like an external thing yeah. that comes into the yeah. museum yeah. But, yeah i've got another paranormal planned i'm not going to say where it is okay but it's it's basically underground in an old victorian uh, so like back in 1800s whatever it was cool. you know back in back in the old days like cowboy mm. horsey days and all oh, that yeah, stuff yeah. all old what it used to be like underground with old shops and, and blacksmiths and all that kind of stuff. Oh, yeah, nice. We've got a paranormal coming up there soon. I'm really looking oh, forward sweet. to that. Yeah. Um, yeah, we've got... But we're always on the lookout for new locations. Fab. I mean, there's like... I mean, the history of this place is so interesting because this... So this bit here was like the old gatehouse yep, of the Abbey. Yeah, that's when we were coming yeah, in, yeah. Yeah, And then um, this like sort of entrance here would have been where the carts come through right um like the ho horses and stuff like to the abbey that way so this would have been like a a road going down there yeah. but then when the dissolution of the monastery happened apparently the last abbot john yeah. ripley yeah. came to live here and retired and he blocked up this bit and put these windows and doors in yeah again apparently from the abbey as well the glass and the doors yep. came from there oh, nice, um yeah. yeah and then he must have built it was either him or the families that came after him and built an extension yeah possibly also using the same bricks as well from the abbey yes um yeah and then he lived he lived here lived upstairs and then um over the centuries a few families like ones that have been associated with Kirchhoff forge down there yes. um and stuff have lived here uh, and then yeah and then it was bought by the council in 1926 and opened in 1927 as a museum yeah. and because so, yeah. these council are so tight yeah they don't give you free admission like no. Bradford do um, yeah and, uh, museums and castles <laughs> am i right in thinking it's edwardian Periods. Yeah, well, there's a lot of there's a lot of um, Edwardian, Victorian sort of um, kind of mixed in it, it when you look yeah. around at like the gutter yeah. and that sort of thing. Yeah, um, like, what would you call it? Like refurbishment, I guess, like over the yeah, years. So yeah. a lot of the dark wood panelling that we've got inside, and also the stained glass yeah. is a lot of that is Edwardian, Victorian. Yeah. Um, oh, cool. But people that kind of were paying homage to the heraldry, yeah, and, yeah, yeah, you course. know, all the old sort of it like. It would be attractive stories. to the. Uh, the goth kind of people they yeah. like this they like this sort of thing don't yeah. definitely yeah yeah it's fantastic and i know that there's a lot of haunting for monks in the grounds i'm not apparently wrong, so yeah apparently yeah. so i've never experienced anything myself well, but. Uh, well you want to knock about this guy and you yeah. will do <laughs> I, I pick up on a lot of stuff I well we we actually work as a, we're, we're paranormal investigators and he's a partial medium and we work oh, as a team oh i see so if there's two oh. in the team me and him but and sometimes we'll get other people on on board if you know but generally not really more than five people yeah fairs okay but yeah so you, you know your stuff then we do yeah, if you, if you, if you, i mean jason's jason's in today not really in lunch now but um yeah he'd definitely be willing to chat to you lovely well um okay. we're gonna have a wander around yeah, i'll pick yeah, this back up it. what's your name rosaline rosaline hi. i'm kev hi so nice i'll pick this you. back up rosaline works here absolutely uh charming lady <laughs> thanks for your time <laughs> um pick this back up guys Right, so we've um, we've we paid the fee. <laughs> yeah, we paid the fee. We paid the six pound fifty. So we're gonna come in and have a look. And if you were looking for somewhere interesting with historical yeah. uh, knowledge, the, this place, this place is worth coming. Oh, can not grand five o'clock. Wow. Look at them, uh, look at that staircase. I wonder if you can actually go up there. Um, that's where the Archbishop... Silks of Armour. We'll have a look in this room when we come back down. But, um... Wow. No entry look up there. Look at the windows on there. It's stained glass, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, look at this, you've got um, Sooty and Sweep. <laughs> oh, yeah, Sooty and Sweep. Oh God, I bet there's like some trying to get them off their hands. I bet they're... Uh, yeah, originals. Yeah, I bet there's some originals then. Yeah. 
Oh, look at the, the stuff that's in here. Who used to work with Sutty and Sweep? Rick Philip Schofield? No, 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 no. He, he, oh, he no, right. kid. No, 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 no. No, he was a golfer guy, wasn't he? Yeah. Brought back mountain. That's it, yeah, he was a sick designer for golfer. Yeah, brought back mountain. He got rid of the golfer. Crazy. Hi, 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 darling. Okay. How are you doing? Alright, you? I'm not too bad, love. I'm not too bad. Um, we have paid, but he hasn't given us any tickets or all. Yeah, he's, he's, uh, are you in Paranormal? Yes. Well, I he just heard it on radio. School trip years ago. He just heard it on radio. Yeah, he's radio through yeah. and told me. Yeah, got a couple of dodgy geezers coming in. <laughs> <laughs> This is lovely, this. this it hasn't happened. changed, I remember I'm gonna this as a child. I yeah. came here with this. I'm actually going to take some pictures. So these... This is... Um, this is really good, is this? Cobbles, cobbles, cobbles. Now these cobbles go in about a foot and a half down. And they're like, like wow. Cobbles. So the place here, they're sealed by the So it's a bit like that. There's a lot of these on, under the roads nowadays, the beats are after over. So these, oh, these, these cobbles? Are, yeah, they're about a foot long, maybe longer. Look at this, Taylor's uh, farmer, sir. Yeah, this is how it used to be, didn't it? I remember seeing some like things, these big um, um, like jars with, with liquids in. And, and, that would be the advertisement and they draw people in, there used to be purple ones. It's just Don't you liquid. think don't you think shops were much nicer back in there? Well they are now. They were all that fun, weren't they? You want like a few little pictures or flashing lights and get you to come in and sit back and once you're in there you you deep in. Right, let's have a look at this. So we've got um, confectioners. Ah, this. You can actually. Oh, I didn't realise you could actually go inside. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Wow. You're looking for the ghosts? No, no, we're not ghost hunting, mate. We just, um, we just, we just do video diaries. Uh, we are interested in doing a paranormal, though. Yeah, yeah, there's um, some things in there. I think it's a guy called Jason we need to speak to. Yeah, that's me. Oh, is that you? I've come down and have a chat. Oh, all right, okay. Well, what I'll do is I'll turn my camera off and we'll have a chat. Yeah, yeah. Right guys, so we've spoken to Jason, the uh, paranormal guy, and um, we've decided we are definitely, uh, well what he's going to do is he's going to get us the email address in which we need to email for the booking. Um, prices should be reasonable, relatively cheap, I'd say, because obviously there's only two of us and we're, we're not really doing it for financial gain. Um, so yeah, it shouldn't be too bad, but we have been told there is a um, a ghost in here. I'm going to get West Audit to just relay what the guy said to me, and then we'll uh, we'll just have a look around, guys. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn my front screen off on my GoPro so it's not interfering in reflection, and then you can see all these. Beautiful items in the window. There's a lot of stuff in here. Bloody hell, I mean, look, look at these dolls here. They, they look like... They look like some of them haunted dolls you can buy. Really, really creepy. Really creepy. What the hell? 
Howard Square Sunday School. Morning and afternoon classes every Sunday for boys and girls aged 5 to 14. I thought I could eat kids then. Wow. Please open. Not a lot. Is that the guy we need to email? Yeah. yeah. Right, uh, War. Yeah. Can you just, if you can, relay what the guy, what Jason said to us about the ghost, what knocks about down here? We go outside where yeah. obviously we're not surrounded by music. So what Jason was saying was in this area is it's quite a predominant area where this guy is. Yeah. Um, there's a bench around there when there's been children in and it's been kicked while we were sat on it and it's yeah. quite a heavy that one down bench, there, guys. small bench and it's fine a few kids. It's wheelbarrow. I here. said to him also he likes to do that, yeah. make a noise with this, and he went and he confirmed that straight away. He went, Oh, yeah, but he does all sorts. Also, this spirit in here throws a lot, a lot of little things, and you can hear noises sometimes, doors. And he's confirmed everything that I've su suggested that goes on. And then up here, I've already been in, I, I got I got an urge to go in here, I got like a bit of a whisper. I went in, it's full of different energies, a lot of different psychic energies with all the artifacts that are in here. Um, you, you can just feel so much going on. I've got a feeling it's mainly this end of the building. And I don't know why I keep getting drawn into here. It's the old barbers. Yeah, but it's, <coughs> this area is pretty strong. Cigarettes. So I, th I think personally, myself, Yeah. We investigate this in the dark. You're going to get a lot. You're going to get a lot coming out of this area. Oh yeah, we're going to pick. This, we're going to. This little particular corner is going to be quite a main area. We're going to pick so uh, much stuff up. Through here. I've not been in, in here yet. Wow, look at all this stuff, guys. Well, I need to go back because there's a couple of other rooms I haven't looked at. Oh wow! I remember um, when I was a little child going to visit. My nan's friends, they'd have, they'd have copper pots like this. You know, being passed down through the family. Obviously, it don't happen much nowadays because you just buy a new kettle. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah. Absolutely amazing. I was just saying... Old fashioned irons. I was just saying, down, yeah. down near the Sunday school bit. Yeah. Bet there's some dolls in a cabinet. Ah. And they look yeah. just like the haunted ones. <laughs> oh, wow. Have a quick look at them. Oh, wow. Let's go have a look at these dolls. Guys, we are in The Undertaker's. That, that's not an original coffin, I'll tell you now. No, it's a replica. That's a mock-up. It? But, it's a mock -up, but, but uh, to the unknown eye, they would say yes. But I also said to that Jason that there was two people in the bar and one was shouting at the other one, and one in the corner. He reckons it's a guy from here, but he says there's a, a maid behind the bar. And we've got some like games and stuff in there, like Bagatelle, the old fashioned games. Yeah. Wow. So this is your tobacco pipes. Big, big thing, I suppose. This would be equivalent to vape, vapes nowadays. Yeah. So I were actually stood here looking in this window and I could hear kids. Kids. And I thought we were hearing things and it and it's the speaker uh, in there. <laughs> so it's just these dolls here, look. Oh, look at these. From China. Original stuff. Yeah. Victoria time. Where we're cornered. That one. That one there. I'm telling you. It's looking down. Yeah, that's the main one. You reckon that's haunted? Yeah. There's something there. Sure, it's, it's evil, there's just something with sure, mate, got my key here. If I'd have known I was coming in here, I'd have brought my key to meet her. Well, we will be coming back. What we need to do is do a baseline check. Go down and check everything, make sure what the levels are. But I'll tell you, you're going to pick up really quick on this. This is all confined, it's 
the energy is just bouncing around. Well, to be honest with you, mate, if, I mean, if I were a ghost, I'd probably hang about down here as well. It's, it's what, it's what residual to all the things that are here. Right, so we've got a bar here, we've got a, uh, a hat to rover in. Oh, wow. Tell you what, guys. You, you don't see bars like this anymore, do you? Oh, Tetley's. Wow. You do not see stuff like this anymore. That's the old Queen Victoria. Hang on, I'm going to come back to you in a minute, guys. You know what I started doing? Videoing it on camera. Right. Turn my camera over. Wow. It's sick in here, mate. You can feel it, can't you? Now, when I came in here, I'm on my Pixel phone now, so if I'm going to see anything, it's going to be on this. Uh, I wonder what's up there then. Uh, not an answer, are you? It's amazing down there. Absolutely amazing. So that's it for this section, guys. Um, I'll pick it back up. Right guys, we're just going up to the first floor now. I don't see them anymore. They used to be outside all the people. Wow, yeah, you used to get them all over the shop, yeah. didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, it's not the kind of a thing that's common now because people don't like the hunting side of things. Yeah. Uh, but it just used to be a way of life, didn't it, for the uh, aristocracy? Yeah. You go in there? No. no. Got a Victorian bedroom, Ooh, guys. Yeah, look at the old pot, hot water bottle. And then the commode. <laughs> oh man, look at them five o'clock. Saves you getting up in the middle at night for a wee. Well, we don't have to go far, do you? No, that's the thing, you see. Oh wow. Oh, yeah, these old pennies in these didn't turn the handles. Demon. Yeah, you'd have to put an old penny in it for it to work. Oh, is that all working? Oh, very good. You see that, guys? Hang on a minute. It was a hot, it's a hot tea. Well, it was working. It was, it's come to its end. Yeah, it goes through so many of them. The demons in here. Mm, why is that what you said? Yeah. I don't know what you said. Demon. Yeah. <laughs> I told you, did I? Yeah. There's a different atmosphere up there anyway. Yeah, we're just walking around with uh, Spirit Talker on, guys, and there is some funky, funky well, messages. The 60s and 70s. Eh? Hey? 60s and 70s memorabilia. Oh, look at the silverwork. Hey, a sooty and sweep show. Yeah. Wow. You have to pay? They've got 50 pence. Harry Corbett. Seat. Do you have 50 pence? No. Secret. Oh, seat. That just said seat, didn't it? Seat. <laughs> what seat. See there? Just to take a seat. Just to take a seat. Is that why you sat? Right, let's move on to the next bit. Here's the evidence. So as you can see here, Vespergate 
there's a pub up there and there's a pathway but that could be a tunnel apparently they have tunnels going under the river and everything yeah and we've got a um a fortune teller yeah the haunted room Mm -hmm. I'll show what all that's about. Hey. Oh wow, that's freaky. I mean, this, this would have, in, in them days, this was like your Xboxes and PlayStations, I would imagine. You can actually buy old penny tokens to make them work. Oh yeah, you can put them in and get tokens. Oh, I didn't know that. And fill them. Yeah. I didn't know that's pretty work. cool. Oh, it's got me some. Oh, oh nice one. Really. They're quite popular. Nice yeah. one. It's the old original pennies. Nice one, Jason. Yeah. So, literally, one penny. You guys can come here and you can get loads of pennies. And, and 1936, look how big they used to be. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember them. I remember before decimalisation, my friend. Them two are popular, but... You want to see the haunted I house, I want to see you? the haunted house, so let's, <laughs> let's, let's put one in here. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> big CLM behind back, back at bed. Oh, and, and I think large old block. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow, that's cool. Oh, that bottom of bed. That looks like a police officer or something. Well, he's in the right place, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> but it's crazy. Kids would love that one, though. They'd have nightmares. <laughs> Oh, good. That's not bad for a penner. Right, you can choose the next one. Hey, this one, this one looks good. You want this one? Yeah, yeah, there's a lot going off in there. In there you've got a lot of Indian symbol symbolisation and some Egyptian stuff. Who's picking his head around the corner? Oh, the block at the back there, jumping out. Yeah. Um, oh, and again on this side, look. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's gone. Oh, he's back. Oh, he's got a gun, I think. Oh, he just shot someone. Oh, he's just shot that guy. Oh, look, Popper's coming. No, he's gone. Oh, yeah, he's changed his mind. He's gone back, pussy. He ain't got that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, that's funny. That's really funny. It's just about right, isn't it? Yeah. But please. We haven't changed, have we? Oh, nice one. Oh, that was nice of him, wasn't it? Got old tapestry. 1845? 1850. Wow. 1881, is that? Oh, wow. I love old maps as well. Um, there's, there's a name for old maps, isn't there? That, um, like, like stamp collectors have a name. Is that the way out? I don't know. Let's go this way then. Just check this bit out up here first, because it looks... Oh, yeah. There's a the children around here. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I just sense some Lord like running through. There's definitely children playing, and there's a lot of haunted dolls in this place. You can't tell me these aren't haunted. Well, spirits will fix something like that. Oh man. Go like that. What? That one right in the corner. This one here? No, the one right at the back with a small head. Telling you now. Wow. I mean, there's ugly ones in there. Can you guys see this? Let me turn my torch on. Kids used to play with these. You need That's a torch? Yeah. What turn on? Oh, there we go. So you can just see all these spooky dolls in here. Wow. 
Well, yeah, I bet if you stare at these long enough, mate. Well, you stare at mine, don't You'll see shit moving. I'm telling you. Go get yourself possessed now. Oh, I ain't got me, I ain't got me pendant on either, you know. I am. <laughs> Down here? Yeah, in the far corner near glass. Which corner? Straight in front of you now. Straight in front of me. It's, it's, it's not just there. Let's get a SLS on go guys, see if we can see out. Down about here. Spirit, you wanna to speak to us? Just picking no, I'm not picking no up. No. Talk to us. Oh, I was picking all them up. Okay, there we go. Yeah, just leave it on while we're walking around, see if it says up. All things bright and beautiful, all creatures great and small. Yeah. This was an old woman of Leeds who spent all of her time in good deeds. She worked for a portal, her fingers were sore. The place showed woman of Leeds. Yep. This is what kind of toys we had back in day guys, so you know you've got all your little spoiled brats in this day and age wanting iPads and PS5s and iPhones. Yeah. This is what we had back in day. Static. Static. Shot. Shot. Oh, I remember some of these games. That bird's moving. You look close enough. That is it bird. checking? That bird's oh, yeah, moving. Yeah, it's, just out. yeah, it's on screens. Yeah, if you bounce about, it will do. Even grab it. That's your man, the greatest <laughs> hero of them all. I remember them as a kid. Check that out, guys. The Ghostbusters. I used to have them. The real Ghostbusters, mate. That's all original stuff. Something I used to have one of the Master Wars. Oh, mate. This, yeah, this stuff will be worth a fortune. Transformers, four ninety nine, unopened. That'll be worth a fortune, mate. Oh shit! I remember all these. Someone just turned my camera off. That's weird, isn't it? The ghosts say not allowed. That's what it is, mate. Eh? Not that loud, the ghosts say not allowed. Turn the camera off, mate. You probably thought I was not. Here. Who's here? Who's the ghost that's here? For anybody here? Would you like to come forward and talk to us and tell us what your name is?
，来，放杯水吧。嗯。哦，放水，放水，放杯水。放水，放水。Right, guys. So we've we've covered the ground floor and the second floor. Um, pick it back up when we get outside. I hope. Uh, you've liked this video so far guys uh, I really hope you like it if you if you have smash that like button please because um, you know I do stuff like this it, it, it's because I love it I do it for you guys I do it for myself you know I've had to pay to come in here um, absolutely worth £6.50 if anyone's local they've never been in here Kirk's Labby Museum you need to come inside and check it out because it's great uh, but yeah smash that like button and subscribe please and uh, yeah, pick it back up when we're outside, guys. Hey guys, back outside. It's fantastic in there. I, in fact, I'm at the same area we were at earlier on <coughs> when we got approached by the young girl. I've forgotten what she said, said name of. Anyway, uh, she's a good saleswoman because yep. she entices us to come in and buy, buy a couple of tickets. <laughs> So, we've had a good wander around in there. Obviously, we didn't get into these lower rooms. No, no, a lot of the uh, rooms in here are actually staff only. It's been added on, so that's actually been into that bit. That's where the ground floor, underground sort of shops are. That's been added on. But we've got all this down, so this is the door. Right, so we've crossed over at Road, guys. Uh, Mr. War, can you give us a bit of backstory on this? Well, you know what, it's better than I do. I, yeah, be my hometown and that. Yeah, um, it's pretty straightforward. This Abbey were around in 996 in that area when it really started kicking off. So you've got the main Abbey on this side. There was like the cloisters and stuff. And this was kind of like the other part of the building. It's all going to be quite explanatory in here. Oh no, what the nine, nine somethings it was. 1150 something but they'll have been building it and this area will have been will have been noted I'm going to move south ah that's what happens you see when you're not a professional you have to restart your video yeah <laughs> right. cheers right guys so we're going to have a little walk around we have it soon as it seems yeah guys so you've seen this on drone footage we're gonna go down and have a look in person been building it for many years it was taken at least 20 years to build this um, I mean it's had some new bits put on recently had a lot of work done down here and it actually absolutely caught the pieces at one point at least it down for that to do work just to make it safe really but this this were run by all the monks to do lots of other things in this area. Um, they're quite wealthy, they're connected to like Bolton Abbey and places like that. So, um, unbelievable structures. Absolutely just, um, fantastic. It's nice, but I mean, to me, it just looks like a crumbling building. Well, it has been in the past, it's getting better. Don't get me wrong, it's it is nice. You can see where it's had some new brickwork done to it. See the problem the problem with places like this, when Oliver Cromwell came into it, he decided he was shutting them all down. So they went round and started destructing a load of them, taking the gold uh, crosses and the eagles and everything they could get worth money for the monarchy well not the monarchy, for the, um, for the parliament and stuff in them days. Yeah. And uh, round heads in Crom Cromwell time, there were a lot of problems for the monks and monasteries. And it's not just in Leeds, it's up and down the country. There's a couple that managed to get away without Cromwell doing anything to them, but as a majority, they're in conditions like this. Ah, oh, there you go. That big, that big sort of river thing, whatever it was, you saw yeah, down there. there one's down there. Runs down there. So this has had connection with Vikings in the past because <coughs> they used to come up this river here and um, I think they reckon that there used to be a little bit of an establishment of them around here as well as down in Leeds. Right, so how do you get in here then? So there is some gateways through, through that building there. You can go in and, and get into that. Well that's, our, well, that's where we're going to go. But I wanted to come down here and show you 
this side of it. This is notorious for hauntings along well, here. Can we get in here for free? Yeah, I believe we can. But we have to go we'll through that building. Go through that building. Right, I'll pick it back up, guys, when we get in. Yeah, so we're back outside, guys. The um, staff members, unfortunately, wouldn't let us go in. Now, it is free to go in, I might add. If you live in Leeds and you can prove you live in Leeds, I do live in Leeds, but I ain't got my driving license on me with my address. Uh, so they wouldn't let me in. But yeah, this is the outside of it. Um, thought I might as well get a little bit of it on video uh, so you can see. Uh, now I'm gonna give a little bit of information, right? In regards to drone flying. Now, according to Drone Assist, there is no, there is nothing stopping you from flying a drone in this area over the Abbey. But the staff members have been told by Leeds City Council, if you see anybody flying a drone, you have to go outside, tell them to pull it down, tell them to stop, because apparently there is a bylaw which prohibits um, you from flying drones. I haven't seen so, any um, signs up for it. No, oh, neither yeah. have I. So what I'm going to do, guys, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to try and get that information in concrete. I'm going to stick it in with this video and let you guys know if the bylaw does or does not exist. Because I think Leeds City Council will try to pull a fast one, to be honest. <coughs> But yeah, beautiful abbey anyway. Beautiful abbey. Like I said, you can't go in. Yes, guys, so we're bringing this video to an end now. Um, it's been a brilliant couple of hours here in Kirkstall Abbey. Uh, they've got some really nice staff working here. Uh, they'll make you feel, you know, very, very, very warm and friendly. They'll make you feel welcome. Um, we've, had a, we've had a nice walk around the ruins, guys. You can see it back just over my shoulder. Uh, it's been absolutely fantastic. Like I said earlier on, for £6.50, I'd definitely come and check the museum out. Have you enjoyed yourself? What? Yo, have you enjoyed, I've enjoyed yourself? It. It's yeah. good. It's been a good day. So, you know what's coming, guys. Don't forget to smash with the biggest hammer you can find. Smash that like button, guys. Uh, comment and subscribe so we can keep bringing this fantastic footage your way and we'll catch you all in the next one bye for now